Hi, I'm Alida from the SOS Business Box and I'm going to be using this jug of water, these coloured tumblers and the champagne flute to show you how easy it can be to understand the difference between gross profit, operating profit and net profit. So, let's start with this jug of water which represents your sales or revenue in a month. The water represents what you've sold regardless as to whether your customer pays you straight away or after you've invoiced them. This pink tumbler represents your cost of sale. This is a variable cost that you only incur as a direct result of making a sale. Examples of this would be stock, materials, venue hire, or any subcontractors who might deliver a service on your company's behalf. So revenue minus your cost of sale, and what you've got left is your gross profit. This blue tumbler represents your fixed costs or overheads. These costs you incur regardless as to whether you make any sales or not. And the examples of this would be your rent, your mobile phone costs, insurances and payroll. Gross profit minus your fixed costs leaves you with your operating profit. You will need to make payments to HMRC on your operating profit and that's what this green tumbler represents. If you're a sole trader or a partner in a limited liability partnership, then these payments will be your national insurance and income tax. If you run a limited company, then these payments will be the company's corporation tax. So your operating profit minus payments to HMRC and what you've got left is your net profit. This champagne flute represents the money that you've got left over to do with whatever you'd like. There is one exception though. If you're a director of a limited company and you take this money out as a dividend, you will have to pay income tax on it. Most business owners know how much it costs them to sell whatever they sell, they know what their overheads are, and they also have a rough idea as to how much they need to pay over to HMRC. However, few business owners know how much they need to sell in order to take out what they need each month, and also how small changes to their costs can have a big impact on their targets. Our revenue target calculator works out your achievable targets for you, you plug in the numbers and the tool does the rest. So why not explore the box and find out more?